Taurus, welcome or welcome back to another reading. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's an honor to have you here. And if you're new here, this is all about giving you the messages you need to know right now in love and in life to help align you with your soul purpose because we believe that love is the greatest catalyst to stepping into your soul purpose to change the world and to live a life of health, wealth, and love. And so these messages are here to help you align to, help, to align you with your purpose while also giving you the clarity you need in your true love and or twin flame situation. Let's go ahead and get right into your messages and see what spirit has for you today, Taurus. All right. First card out is the three of pentacles. So um, you may be feeling like there's a opportunity here that's arising for you or that there's opportunities um, soon to be arising for you in your life. You may also feel like you're getting back out there again or you're aligning with your true self and you're letting others see your true self once again so that you can uh, begin to move forward, right? There may have, You may be, be coming from a bit of a pause in your life or a bit of a hiatus or a break, um, right, from something that you were up to or doing and you are now feeling ready again to get back out there and to align yourself with uh, who you really are. And you're excited to see what's ahead of you at this moment in time as well. Yeah, you're really feeling like you're you're ready to risk it all again. That's the message I'm getting. Um, you're ready to give it all as well. Uh, back to your life, back to yourself, and back to the uh, back to others around you as well. Okay. You also may find yourself in a leadership or a teaching position of some sort, or you may be stepping back into a leadership role or a role where you can teach or shine from um, above or help lead others into a certain direction. And you may be using your specific experiences, knowledges, or gifts in order to do that. Queen of Wands here and Four of Wands. You're really feeling safe and comfortable at this time and conf more confident than ever in your love situation. Um, because of this safety, because of this comfort, you are feeling the ability to take these leaps of faith. And what you're realizing is that when you feel safe in love, when you feel safe in your heart, when you feel safe in the physical, it lets you it lets you be more confident in the other areas of your life and or the spiritual. But for you, Taurus, you need a solid emotional security or foundation to be able to, to feel confident and to branch out into your other uh, areas, okay? So it looks like you are realizing that. You are also achieving and feeling that. And Queen of Swords in the Star card is you are ready to let go of any of the versions of you or what you've been through in the past that has restricted your most authentic way of being or been there through or because of a, a protection mechanism. You're also realizing I don't want to be separate anymore from my fate. I don't want to be separate anymore from my love. I don't want to be separate anymore from my true purpose. I don't ever want to take another hiatus or break from what I'm here to really do and what I'm here to really be. I'm done with that and I am safe to move forward in my true self. So I'm choosing to let go of versions of me in the past that did not feel safe, right, of being and expressing my true, truest self and my true soul purpose. Death card is here, two of cups, middle of the spread, three of uh, swords here. So it looks like you've been th going through or you've been through recently, okay? Um, some pretty dramatic changes, I would say, is the first thing that comes up as I read this, okay? Uh, shifts in your reality, shifts in your emotions, shifts in how you feel about your relationship that you're currently in or your twin flame union or twin flame situation. Okay. And you're realizing that it is, you, you need to take a lot more care of yourself. I, I think that's the first thing that's coming up is like, there's more time needed in perhaps meditation or healing or just taking a break. And looking like looking after your emotions, like what I'm getting is someone connecting deeply to their own soul, connecting deeply to their own spirit, spirit guides um, to feel aligned and to feel like you're not kind of uh, living a lie or disconnected. What I'm getting is you might have felt almost perpetually disconnected or a little lost or confused along the way because you were 
not taking the time to properly connect back to who you are. And so thus you might have been either afraid or you felt like you were not connected with your your true self. And so what this says is this week is going to carry with it a lot of changes, heaviness, and truth coming out to you. And the guides are just recommending it. You, you, you're feeling this already, but it's time to really step into your healing. T- time to step into your emotions, okay? To take a step back and to really take care of yourself emotionally so you can continue to have the confidence to lead and teach others, okay? Seven of Pentacles is here as well. And this just says, you know, that your biggest fear, towards one of your biggest fears that's coming up right now might be, I don't want to live a dissatisfactory life. I don't want to live a life of mediocrity. I don't want to live a life that's just average. I want to be, I want to have an amazing life, right? I want to have it all. I don't want to just have either money or one aspect of my life or just security. I want to have an amazing love life. I want to have stability and finances. I want to have, you know, great relationships generally around me and connections to the world. And I want to feel fulfilled in my purpose. And that's perfectly fine and perfectly fair for you to feel Taurus as well. Yeah, here's the Empress card. So you're really realizing a lot this week, Taurus, in that you may have been or or disconnected yourself from your true essence for, for the past, the recent past, um, either because you thought you had to or maybe because for someone else. Um, but you're realizing that that's just not going to work for you, right? That's not going to work for you to disconnect yourself from some from yourself for someone else or, or anything else because you want a life of having it all. And to have a life of having it all, you must always be true to yourself. And I think you're learning that, right, in this final row here moving forward. This is all about I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to own it. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to speak my truth even through my hardships, right? Five of cups here and own what I've been through, right? And whether that's, you know, it could be stuff with pregnancies, babies, right? Deaths in your past. Um, uh, could even be miscarriages, things like that, right? I don't know why I'm getting that very strongly, but as essences of that, it's like you're feeling called to either speak about that or to really represent yourself to the world in that way without judgment to help people move forward and to align and to enjoy their life, right? To for, You're helping people find closure in their personal situations and life situations through relating and sharing, being brave and sharing your own experiences. That's what I see here for you. There's the lovers, four of pentacles, seven of cups. So in love, you may feel this, you may feel like they, there hasn't been enough money or resources or security, right? You've, you may have felt iffy on that end, uh, right? That might have been a question mark for you. And then Seven of Cups is um, unsure if this is the real thing, right? Or just an illusion or if it's really real, right? If, it's, if God really wants you to be with this person and it's aligned and you're meant to be here. And this may be a question because resources or finances have been scarce and you're questioning whether that's right right or it's made things difficult to the point where you're unsure if that means that this love that you're a part of is correct for you right what i'm getting here for you taurus to know is it the assurance you're looking for and the money or the resources or the stability you're looking for comes from your self-assurance and self-reliance in your own feelings, in your own intuition, and in this love situation. The more you can self-align within yourself and the more you can self-realize and dig deep and see how you really feel about your love situation, your twin flame situation, the more it will bring you out of the fog or the darkness okay, of the past and also of the external circumstances around you so that you can have that confidence. So your lesson, Taurus, this week and in the past has been learning to self-assure, learning to be certain in, in your own heart, in your own feelings, in your own intuition, in love, specifically through love, through the magic of true love, right? Twin flame, true love. This has taught you a valuable lesson about how to navigate the world, generally speaking, so you can be more, you can have that continuously in your life moving forward. 
You can have that self-assurance. You can have that confidence in your life moving forward always. But it is, it is, this has been teaching you, right? True love, your situation has been teaching you how to get, gain more clarity and certainty and trust in your own heart, okay? Despite challenging external circumstances and fears popping up and illusions popping up so that you can have the confidence you need, okay? And once you have that, okay, what I'm getting for you, Taurus, is all the resources come to you. All of the certainty comes to you. All of the resources, everything you need comes to you after you give your your, your self-trust, your self-assurance, your self-certainty, okay? So it's almost like you or this situation is responsible for causing you to feel uncertain or... Uh, or scarce, or challenged in some way, okay, whatever relates to you there, um, but it's your practice to bring yourself through that, and to go deep into your own intuition, and to realize how you really feel, and give yourself that certainty by finding out, and really discovering how you feel, to bring yourself the resources, to bring yourself the clarity, to bring yourself the feeling of safety, okay, so it's all about feeling safe, Taurus for you. It's all about feeling safe. It's all about you feeling safe emotionally speaking within your situation, but you learning to bring yourself to that place when you don't feel it. Final three cards of advice here is Magician, Six of Wands here in the Hermit card. Um, and don't feel threatened. Don't feel threatened by your or your person's success, right? One thing that might be coming up for you is you might feel threatened by someone else's success, whether it's your person's or someone else's success around you. And you might tell yourself, oh, I need to be alone because I, I, you know, I can't, I can't handle this other person being successful because if they become successful, they might hurt me. That's the fear or the wound coming up here. And really, that is a shadow or reflection of where you feel threatened of being successful within your own life, right? So whatever you might feel that's projected out towards another is also what's keeping you from that very thing. And the very thing I see for you is you want success, Taurus. You want to be successful. You want to be happy. You want to be empowered. And so you don't have to be alone to find that. You can do that alongside and with someone. However, um, you have to allow that part of you to flourish and any resistance towards that success, towards rising, towards being empowered, towards making things happen to be let go of so that you and or your current relationship, your, relate, your twin flame union can rise to the success that it deserves um, without any restrictions, okay? Without any, without any self-imposed restrictions. Chariot card, page of cups here and the 10 of pentacles because Truth is, both of you guys, both you and your twin, both you and your person here are meant to build something together in time, right? It's going to take some time. Chariot card here with the Page of Cups. Right now, neither of you really know exactly how to give to that union together in a way that's going to allow you both to flourish, right? It's, come, it's kind of like you're, what I'm getting is you're kind of new to it. You're kind of new to working together or to building something together. And so before you both can work together to build something, you each have to build something separately on your own in order to align to then ultimately build something right um, side by side. And that's what I do see um, right in in the future, in your future, right, is both of you building something side by side. But first, it's got to be on your own as well. Okay. All right, Taurus, that was your... Twin Flame, True Love, Soul Purpose reading. Um, I will be doing an extended reading. This will be about either your person's perspective on this whole situation or what you need to know in your Twin Flame slash True Love situationship, relationship, the perspective of the guides and angels on it, and any major thing, things or themes that are coming up right now, and then particularly if it's needed, an emphasis on your person's perspective or current healing journey so that you can align and heal and move forward as well. Uh, with and beside them to find and discover your true soul purpose. So check that out in the description box below. If you enjoyed this content, definitely be sure to subscribe and join the soul family. We'd love to have you. Um, we do go live every Sunday around 1 p.m. So be sure to join us there. And um, if you want to work with me, I do do personal readings as well. 
in the description box below at brandontobias.com. Thanks so much, Taurus, and I'll see you in the extended. Bye for now.